He lived over 1,000 years ago. He was born in 965 in Iraq, and he died in about 1037. But the important thing is in 1015, exactly a thousand years ago last year, he published a famous book called the Book of Optics. And it was the first book that explained how we can see and how light works. So I'm going to tell you about some of his experiments and findings. And the reason why we being Ibn al-Haytham is because he invented the camera obscura. Okay, that's the dark room that we're going to go into just now to see images of Cape Town. And he invented it while he was studying the human eye. Now, a trick question. What did we use to produce light before we had candles? Yes? Electricity. Uh, <laughs> right, the correct answer in South Africa is electricity. But that's not really what I'm getting at. Before electricity was invented, people had to use natural light. What is the biggest source of natural light? The yes. sun. Yes, the sun. But what about at night? The moon. The moon. And if it's a new moon, and it's dark. Okay. So in the past, people were mainly active during the day when the sun was shining, and a little bit active at full moon at night when there was also enough light. When they learned to make and control fire, that was a very important development because then they could have candles, they could have fires, and the fire was very important in our evolution because it not only created light, created heat, and with heat you could cook your food, you could bake clay to make pots, you could even melt metal if you made the fire hot enough and make tools. So the first controlled use of fire was a very important step in human evolution. Now before Ibn al-Haytham came along, the main people who studied light were the Greeks. And they did science in a different way to the way we do it now. There were a few very clever Greek scientists. And whatever they said, everyone believed. They didn't question it. So some Greek scientists said, the way we see is that our eyes have little torches in the back of them. Okay, and when we look at something like this girl here, mm -hmm. the light from the torch in our eye bounces off her face and back into our eye. They said that's how we see because our eyes produce light. Now do you think that's right? 